All right, guys. So today, as we've already promised, we're gonna be showing you guys how to change the hub and brakes on some easy lube axles. Got this tire pulled off. Next step we're gonna have is going through right here on the back side of these calipers, getting these bolts broke free. Now, for us, these are an 11 millimeter. Results may vary. All right, and second bolt pulled out. So. We're going to use this uh, combination pry bar here. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab a hammer. We're going to knock this cap off. So, assistant, hammer me. Like Thor. Hammer! Perfect. Chocolatey milk. I guess it'd be strawberry milk. Ugh. Now we're gonna get a rag and wipe all that off because we don't want to get it all over us. Pop our little retainer clip off. I'm gonna need my wonderful assistant to grab me a flathead screwdriver now. Remember, don't use your screwdrivers as pry bars. You get the correct tool. Do as I say, not as I do. From the heavens, Kane. There we go. Save this guy. You're definitely gonna need it again. And then, yes, this nut was normally going to be finger tight. Um, that is the indication of the play that we found in this hub in that earlier video. Also, save this guy. You're going to need it. But we will clean it up before we put it back on. At this point, nothing is holding the hub on. We're going to slot it right off. Don't forget to pull your washer off of that. So now... As you can see, all this all over this brake bracket, that rear seal was fried, was spitting grease all over the place. Now we're going to take a rag and we're going to wipe the spindle down and look for any kind of serious scarring, scrapes. Now, let's get you guys moved in closer so that you can look at the spindle with us. So this will give you guys a better view of that brake caliper bracket where you can see all that wheel grease just slung all over the place but looking at this spindle we can see there's really not anything for us to be concerned about right here's where that seal rides it's a good smooth surface this is going to be where the outer bearing rides. everything looks good so let's go ahead we'll get this thing put back together all right, almost got a little ahead of myself. We're not quite ready to put the hub back on. We do need to go ahead and take this caliper off. This last bolt in that bracket just pops right off. Now we are ready to slide on our new hub. All right, guys, we did go ahead and get the pre-greased hub assemblies. So when you're sliding these on, you want to be careful not to smash that seal against anything. Get them put on good and square. Get it slid up. You may have noticed there is a little D slot to this washer. That's going to line up on the D slot of this spindle. Just slide that little guy right in. And then we'll get our nut started back. Excuse me, guys. My first day on the job, apparently. Now, you do not want to over tighten this nut. All you really want to do is take the play out of the bearings. So it's still gonna spin. It's gonna be a little tight. Just getting those bearings seated. I think I actually have it just a hair too tight. So there we have play. So we know we're too loose. Let's snug it up a little more. still have some play that's pretty much got that where we want it to be just going to clean this extra grease off all right guys so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this caliper and bracket put on with this new updated design you do take this caliper slide it right over those pins fancy little rubber stopper out of the middle of this caliper here and then we're going to slide it right down over the back 
and it'll drop down just like that. Then, with the new hardware supplied, we're gonna put the four bolts right back in that bracket. Now the next thing we're gonna have to do is we are gonna have to disconnect the brake line from the old caliper and get that connected to the new caliper. And then I'll show you guys how we're gonna bleed that out. So, I'll be right back to show you guys how we're gonna bleed it. So we have a vacuum bleeder from Harbor Freight. Um, little hack I like to do is put a small zip tie over that hose on the bleeder screw. That just gives you a little extra insurance that it's not gonna fall off on you while you're trying to get this done. We're gonna wanna hold our reservoir up above that bleeder. Just, we don't want brake fluid, we want air. Air goes to the top. We're just gonna give it some squeezes till we start getting fluid. We'll go ahead and get that bleeder tightened up. See, it's all the way tight. We're still drawing some bubbles. Get this vacuum bleeder pulled out of the way and now it's time to make our final adjustments on this hub nut and get ready to lock it in place and then we'll put the cap on so now we're going to throw the tire on this sounds counterproductive but before we get this nut all the way tight i like to put the tire back on without the center cap and without the dust cover so we can tighten two lug nuts check for play in this bearing before we get it locked down so I'll be right back. Hey guys, so we've got the wheel back on. We've got two lug nuts thrown in it. And we're just going to kind of give it a little push-pull, little push-pull. Fine-tune that nut just so that you get it tight enough to keep the slack out of it. But loose enough it still turns free. Then we'll grab our handy-dandy little spring lock. Some axles use cotter pins, castle nuts different variations. These easy lubes use a little spring lock. You line it up to that little D-ring. They can be a little finicky getting them on there. Now, the last thing we've got to do is knock on this dust cap. And one of the important things to remember with boat trailers is not to over grease them. Well, we bought pre-greased hubs it is already loaded. For right now, we're not going to add any extra grease through this circ fitting. All that's going to do is cause that grease to expand when it gets hot, blow that rear seal out prematurely. It's important to get them started square and knock them in evenly. So to do that, we're going to use a scrap piece of wood we had laying around. Just to hold that in place. Give it some quick little taps that way. Now, put our little rubber cap in. And there you have it. Dexter Easy Lube pre-greased hub assembly and caliper rotor. Everything's replaced. Everything's new. Last thing we got to do is let's put a beautiful brand new wheel and tire combo on here and get that all tightened up. There we have it. Brand new wheel and tire combo. Hub is brand new, bearings, brakes, everything. So we know we're not going to be sitting on the side of the road in the pouring down rain and the cold trying to fix our boat trailer. Thank you for tuning in with us. Like, subscribe, all that fancy stuff. If you came from the common boat trailer mistakes video, awesome. If not, I'll link that video right here. If you enjoyed this one, you'll love that one. Y'all go check it out. God bless. Take care.